Hi everyone, this is Dr. Allie Gosnell from Reshape Physical Therapy here in Winchester, Virginia. Today we're going to talk about how paying attention to your foot position can help plantar fasciitis. Now, standing here, there are three positions your foot can be in. It can be in a pronated position, which means that your foot is or arches are diving down and in. It can be in a locked position or supinated position, meaning your weight's on the outside of your foot or it could be a neutral position, meaning that it's right in the middle of those two points. And so each of those positions is really good at certain things. If your foot is down and in, it's really good at absorbing shock when you jump, meaning that when you come from up in the air from jumping and you go to land, it's good at dispersing that impact through your foot and the rest of your body. When you're on the outside of your foot or in that stupid locked position, that position is really good that when you go up onto your toes to push off from the ground, when you're walking, jumping, doing those things, that it's really good stabilizing your foot to get you up off the ground. So creating that, that sort of power. Thing that it's not really good at is it's not good at absorbing shock. So if you were excessively in one position or the other, and you can't go into that locked position or you can't go into the unlocked position, then your foot's gonna have some difficulty and trouble. Now, the neutral foot position is just the point in between those two. So when you're not pushing off, when you're not landing, right, you should be in a neutral foot position. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So I want you to stand for a second, and I want you to pay attention to where your weight is just by standing here. Knees are straight. Everything should feel pretty relaxed. And see where your weight is. Is your weight on the inside of your foot? Are you in that pronated position? Is your weight on the outside of your foot in that supinated position? Is your weight in your heels? Or your weight in your toes? Where is the weight in your foot when you stand without doing an activity? Now, if you are on the inside or outside of your foot, just standing here with no activity, then we need to think about your foot placement a little bit. We like for people when they're not doing activities to be in that neutral foot position, which means that three points in your foot have equal weight on them. The ball of your big toe, the ball of your pinky toe in the center of your heel. So I want you just standing here, bring your weight on the outside of your foot and bring the weight on the inside of your foot. And C, go between those two extremes. Make sure you can do each of those movements without your legs compensating, meaning your thighs aren't moving with you, okay? So doing those two points. Then what I want you to do is I want you to stop at the middle of those two points, okay? And that should be with equal weight on all three of those points, the ball of your big toe, ball of your pinky toe, center of your heel, that should be your tripod or neutral foot stance. Now, are you able to maintain that when you're standing? Are you able to maintain that when you shift and stand on one foot? Or is that really hard to do? Do you start to go back to the position you originally started in, either on the outside or inside of your foot? If that's challenging for you, then I would recommend throughout your day, try to find this tripod or neutral foot position more often. Try to see if you can maintain that for longer. Try and see eventually you can go toe touch maintaining it. If that's really easy, then you bring your foot off and try to maintain it. Work on that foot stability and your body's body um, awareness to come to this position as your neutral foot position so the point you come every day just to stand. Now, if you're in heels or you have a little bit of a heel on, that's going to change your foot position a little bit. It's going to change it whether it's forward or backwards. So just barefoot, just in tennis shoes, those sorts of things. If you have plantar fasciitis pain, try to work on this tripod stance. Try to make it nice and level. If you guys have any questions, shoot us a message down below. Otherwise, have a great week.